Next into the tank, a master guitar maker who sold his house to finance his growing business. Ten years later, Willie convinced a shark to help him take his products onto the world stage. Hi, my name is Perry Olmsby, and my business is Olmsby Guitars. We've been running this business since 2004, when I started with a dream and just $1,800. Myself and my team produce 50 guitars a year. They're all handmade and pre-sold. Pricing ranges from $4,000 to $12,000, with an average price of $6,000. In comparison to the bigger brands and their high-end models, they would generally be priced around two and a half to four and a half thousand. Due to our constant output of eye-catching designs and models, we're under massive demand. The last 20 handmade guitars that we sold, pre-sold in 66 seconds. Due to this demand, we've teamed with an offshore manufacturer to produce guitars to our specifications. These guitars range from $1,500 to $1,800, which is more accessible to the wider market. So what was the offer? The offer is 10% equity for $200,000. Thank you. We're going to hear a little demonstration of the handmade guitars from Jake and welcome any questions you may have. Yeah, well done. Yeah, excellent. My, my husband collects guitars. Okay. So, yeah, I'm We've got them all over the house. Sure. Why are your guitars so special? OK, with our handmade guitars, we use a lot of um, very difficult to find and rare timbers. We use a lot of innovative designs like the multi-scale layout, which is the fanned fret arrangement that you see. Yep. OK. Um, and we pride ourselves on having the absolute best quality. So you, uh, your market is the absolute high-end people that just really love love the specialty of a, yes. a quality yes. artwork. Yes. You've got this high-end group. Yes. You've now introduced mass production. Yes. In terms of dollars and numbers of guitars, in the next 12 months, how many are you going to sell and how much money are you going to generate in revenue? OK. 2014 financial year. Yeah. Uh, the overall sales were 518,000. Right. And the profit was 363,000. After paying yourself? Yes. In the first three months of this financial year, we've turned over $465,000. Whoa. Wow. Your annual sales are going from 518000 to close to $2 million in one year. I mean, you know. Uh, we expect to be $1.4 million this okay. financial year. All right, OK. What is your predicted profit? 800000 Why do you need us? <laughs> I mean, you've got a fantastic income. What I do need is just, just someone there to, to be a guiding light for me. Um, and I think together we can, we can build into a massive brand. $200,000, 10%, that's a $2 million valuation. Yes. I hate to say it, it's not a bad valuation, actually. It's pretty cheap, you should ask for more. <laughs> I actually thought that was a bit too much. No, no, mate, you have a really good business. And, you know, obviously, uh, I, I'm in awe of your business. You've done exceptionally well. Um, but. I'm not going to invest in this. I'm out because mate, I don't know. I don't know guitars or music from anything. But you, you have gone in with an exceptionally cheap offer here, mate. I'll be asking for more. All right. So Steve's out. Where are we, guys? Yeah, I, I uh, love your business. Uh, my my concern is, I've employed plenty of uh, specialists in my time. They are high maintenance, and quite simply, uh, I have no doubt you are an artist, and you're going to be high maintenance to work with. He doesn't it's look a, high maintenance to no, me, No, it's, 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 a, it's a positive thing, <laughs> but I just know you're going to be high maintenance. And for this one, um, I'm going to bow out. But what you have is a fabulous business. Do not ever compromise, and, and well done on getting where you're at. Thank you. Perry, you seem to have it all together, and I'm trying to work out really what you want, and I'm beginning to think what you want is a business partner, a business manager, or somebody to really work with you, hold your hand. You know, there's all sorts of things you can do, but I'm not that person. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you for your time. The downside on your business, it's kind of a double-edged sword as an investor, just sitting back objectively, is a lot of it's dependent on you. Yep. And of course, if you're a calculating 
uh, investor who is purely concerned with getting a return, you don't really like businesses that are too dependent on one product or sure. one person. So dependency on you is why I'm out. Thank you for your time. As an investor, quite often you think, what's the exit? So I'm, I'm looking at this deal and I want to do one. But I'm trying to work out how can I make a deal with you that actually allows for some of my concerns that I've got. Okay. So the deal I'm going to put to you is this. I'm going to give you the 200,000, the 10%, but I do want it returned at 220,000 in 24 months. So I basically get a 10% return on my money each year. I then will still maintain a 10% equity in your business after that period. She gets free equity, it's the best part, is, actually. Yes, Steve, is she doing a shakedown here? Yeah, I think she is, actually. Or how else are you going to get an exit? Yeah. He's selling, he's selling guitars, not banjos, mate. It's, you have to go that bad. Well, then, mate, saying. then write a check a and do a deal. It's a Perry, deal. basically, apart from the little arguments going on, you've basically got to put a price on, the, on your value of Janine's expertise. Look, I believe in your vision. I believe in what you've done. Don't believe enough to actually leave your money in there, though, do you? I mean, that's not a real belief. Anyway. That's actually, that's actually a free belief. It's always interesting if people aren't prepared to write a check, what they say. They well, can actually, say what, anything. What if, I do, what, what if I do make an offer? Because I actually think yours is that bottom then feeding. Then, darling, it, it, make it, an actually, offer. It, actually, it actually needs some oh, competition. Oh, you're going to come back in, Steve. I'm thinking about that, because I, I love that deal. I, I'm making an identical deal. Well, I think the deal is that good. I'll give I'll give two sharks to choose but, from. But you think it's such a but you think it's such a bad oh, I'm, I'm deal. I'm highlighting how bad the deal is. You're saying you're going to make a, you, you'll yeah. do the same offer. If that deal's on the table, I'll take a chunk of that. That's a terrible deal. Then write a check and do a deal. Perry Ormsby is weighing up an offer from Janine for a stake in his successful guitar making business. I'm making an identical deal. I think the deal is that good. You're saying you're going to make a, you, you'll yeah. do the same offer. If that deal's on the table, I'll take a chunk of that. So when you walked through that door, who did you want? You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the time to help you as much as I'd like to. I'm very tempted. But I'll go in with another shot. I'll go in with Andrew. On the same deal that I'm doing? Because it's a good deal. Yeah. I mean, especially if you get two sharks, you're going to get a lot of effort both sides. And all you've got to do is use your cash flow to pay us back. Perry. You don't need their money. If you think they bring something to the table that's going to help your journey go faster, take them. But you don't need their money and the deal is pretty dodgy. The deal is not dodgy. It's a normal part of business. Oh, it is not. It is the only way that an investor can get a return. So you actually want you want double return. You want your equity repaid, and you want to continue this, dividend you know, stream. I've heard you do exactly the same deals this, before, Steve. There is nothing. There You've is done nothing exactly standard. The same deals. No, I've done it through royalty, which is different. It, it takes a risk on sales. You're saying here, regardless of sales, I want the money back after 24 months, and I'm going to keep my equity. Perry, it's for Janine and I to decide the value of our time and our equity. Sure. It's not for them to decide, and that's the price we're putting on our value and our time. We have other options to invest in as well. We like you. We like your product. So I think it's time. To, uh, uh, that, for, that, you, that, for you to make no, the, the hurry up. The hurry, hurry up means nothing, does that? Because he's in the middle, he's not the chairman, right? Seriously, this is a two hundred thousand dollar loan, and they my, pay ten percent for the privilege. My offer has a time limit. Yeah, my mine does too. Mine too. does too. Well, there you I go. Haven't got all this is how day. serious they are. If you're welcome to take Steve's offer, if you like, imagine working with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine getting imagine getting honest advice. You hate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. It's up to you. I don't feel comfortable with twenty four months. Too. Okay. So right. what do you feel comfortable with? Uh, I'd like to uh, make a counter offer. Sure. 5% each, um, dropping down to 5% total once the 200,000 is repaid, with the goal to repay that as fast as possible. I like you and I like your product, but 2.5% is not a lot of skin in the game. 
uh, for me. I, I wish you well. You know, it's a nice business, but I'm out. I don't agree to it either. Thanks anyway. Chris, thank you very much. I assume you've ditched my offer too, is that correct? Yep. Well, good luck to you. Good luck. Well done, mate. You did the, you made the right decision. Oh, mate. for God's sake. You, you made the, the poor decision. I don't have any regrets. I'm confident about the future. We'll get there in the end anyway. It definitely was a bit of a shark bite. And, um, you know, it was um, interesting just sort of standing back while they're uh, arguing with each other. Yeah. Well done, uh, Steve. You totally blew that one out of the water. That was a bad deal. No. You're I wrong. You're actually wrong. <sighs> no.